cerveza gallo. Tómalo. Uy. Delicious. Bye bye. Those are the girls there from Pupu Seria Collect. El Tenampa oh, de mi cielo. ¿Cuántas veces me han sacado del Tenampa? A ver, te vi cara. According to the compass I have in my head. Yeah. I sweat. I suffer. No problem. Beans. Beans looks like a turd. Hey guys, welcome to San Ignacio. We are going today to Melchor, Guatemala. Melchor de Mencos in Guatemala. So we got a taxi here. Eight dollars. He'll take us right to the border. So let's go. At 11 o'clock at night, the police come check up here. Marvin, say hi to your family. Hi. Hi everyone. 20 tickets. Marvin, taxi driver from Melchor de Mencos. He went to high school in... Benke, Montarma High School. Come to Guatemala, guys. Eat some chow mein. Picking up a few people on the way. First to Benke Viejo. From Benke Viejo, they're going to take us all the way to the border. Loading up back there. Back there, there is a giant Mayan ruin called San Antunich. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it here or not. Here the river has the rapids. Look at the rapids here. Beautiful waters here. Look at that water. People still wash their clothes down on the river edge. The traditional way like they did hundred years ago. No, they used to they used to be the women used to be topless on the water's edge washing the clothes. Not anymore. Things have gotten modern. They don't do that kind of stuff anymore. But I remember seeing that. We have made it. We have made it to the border with Belize and Guatemala. We came from San Ignacio in a taxi. Cost us eight dollars a head. Here is the border. We're on Belize side. You go through there, you're gonna be in Guatemala. It's a busy place this border. Look at this. Very, very busy. Look at the hills, the beautiful hills here in Cayo. Very nice. So I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm gonna turn off the camera because you know they're not gonna allow that. Take my word for it, believe it, especially on the Guatemalan side. You gotta be very careful with cameras, they say. I'm not sure how true it is. 
but we shall find out let's go to Guatemala we have to change some money into Quetzales so right here they have the money exchange and even if we have leftover it'll be good because we are also going to Puerto Barrios in the south of Belize taking the boat to Puerto Barrios Guatemala so if we have leftover it don't matter hey guys we're at the money exchange see we change some US into quetzales it's 700 and seven days seven quetzales and 30 centavos for one US dollar here you can see what the money looks like interesting that's a hundred that's a 20 and that's a 10 quetzal let's go approaching the border of Belize the camera goes off I will recommend you turn up your camera don't walk like that no right now I'm here funny, this one. I know here here they're really you funny the they're really like funny this. with the camera but um, I'm doing a little stealth here just so you see where you guys walk through we are through the Belize immigration very very nice and easy now we're walking towards the Guatemalan side I'll walk in front that way you can say that you're recording me but no don't walk in front because oh. then you block my view oh, okay. Oh, okay. but I'm going to turn off the camera before I get too close because I don't even know where's the immigration here because they're very very funny about stuff like this Where do we go now? Over here? Over here? I think it's a salida, they say. Come here, come on, some migration. Where are you? Oh, straight. Oh, straight. ¿Cómo es el cambio por americano? El americano es 730. 730, igual como allá. They got a nice border. Border point. So just a little building. Well, everything changed. Yeah. What time the border closed? Nine. Oh, nine. Oh, we'll be alone. Yeah, Home yeah. in bed yeah, by yeah, now. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> we don't we record that. Buenas, buenos días. Unas horas, unas horas. Voy a hacer un video porque hago videos para YouTube. Así es de hacer un video. Buenos días. Estamos en Melchor, nosotros. José. Que hoy mi esposa. Gracias, muchas gracias. ¿Cuántas días a flores? No, a Melchor. Tres horas a Melchor. Ah, a Melchor. Sí, solo a Melchor. Yo y mi esposa. Aquí está nuestro canal. Si quieren ver nuestros videos, ¿no? Ok. Solo por hoy Gracias. Muchas gracias.
No, we good. Here we are, we are in Guatemala. I recorded the whole border inside. I hope it turned out, I don't know, we'll find out when I edit this video. Right back there. Here we are. They got soldiers there, let me not point the soldiers. Here we are, we are in Guatemala. The border right behind us. Everything went smooth, no problems. They were friendly. Everything went okay. I did record, I don't know how it turned out, but here we are. We are in the country of Guatemala. Here's the river, is this the Mopan? Puente Mopan, yeah, this, so this is the Mopan River running here, the one that goes through Belize, runs through Guatemala. And then um, you walk over the bridge here, and then we're going to be in the city of Melchor de Mencos. Oh, look at the river. That is another, another bridge down there. I wonder what the deal is with that one. Maybe that's for local traffic or who knows. my first video in Guatemala I hope you guys enjoy it leave me some comments if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and the first thing we're gonna do getting into Guatemala will be a beer taste we're gonna have the beer of Guatemala gallo gallo in English means rooster so we're gonna have a gallo beer now we're gonna be randy like a rooster. You can see the sign there, Gallo. You can't go to a new country and not try one of the one of the country's beers. All right, this is exciting. This is exciting. I'm in Guatemala. I've been over here, but man, so long ago you wouldn't believe it. There were just dirt streets when I came here the last time. It's that long ago. I came here so long ago, your grandfather was not born yet. That's how long ago it was when I came here last. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. Thank you, goodbye little monkeys. Look. Monkeys rolling down the street. All right, let me turn off the camera and see if we find this beer store. It says there, Cerveza Florida Primavera. I don't know if you can drink it down there. Let's go find out. Melchor de Mencos, Guatemala. Here we have the sign, Bienvenidos a Melchor de Mencos. That's Spanish for welcome to Melchor de Mencos. Yeah, we could eat here. Now let's wait where they have a beer. Over there, has a sign Guatemala City, that way. We're gonna have breakfast somewhere. And we're gonna have a beer, Cerveza Gallo. La Cerveza de Guatemala. Tikal and Flores is up there. We're gonna come one day to Guatemala and tour the country and make videos. This here is because we're doing a Belize tour and we're so close to the Guatemalan border. We have to jump over here and show you guys Guatemala. So this is country number we okay with for for YouTube. Canada, United States, Mexico, Belize, 
Guatemala. Five countries now on YouTube. I've been to many more, but on YouTube, only five. This here is downtown Melchor de Bencos. It's kind of a hilly place. The roads are good, nice paved streets. But this is it. Motorcycle parts. It's busy here. It's really busy. Drugstore. We're looking for cold beer and hot food. Let's see if we can find it. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Guatemala. We are right on the border with Belize. It's a few miles out of Benque Viejo. And they get to Melchor de Mencos. Everybody just calls it Melchor. Because for some reason, here in these Latin countries, they like giving the places long names. You know, they're named after historical figures. Same thing in Mexico, some towns will have such long names. And then people just call it the short version. So this from Melchor de Mencos, it turned into Melchor. You have to roll the R, Melchor. I have noticed a few businesses like that one that we're walking by. And a few others that we walk by, they have a generator going. Here too. There's a generator going in here. Right there's the generator. I think there's no electricity and I think electricity might be a problem in this city. That's why all the businesses have generators. So the power's probably off all the time here. So everybody just gets a generator. Keep on running. Oh, it's a lot of hills you gotta walk up here. Yeah, seems like power is a problem in this place. Once you see people got all those generators, you know what's going on. All right. Climbing these hills. Let me tell you something. You don't need the gym. You, you do. You do um, YouTubing. You get all the cardio that you want. This is so cool being over here. Interesting buildings. Now we have sidewalk. Kinda gotta walk on the street. Look, they got pizza over there. See here another business, I got a generator going. Everybody got generators going. That means the power is off. Big generator. Okay. Enough walking. Time for some gallo drinking. Let's look for some gallo. That's gotta be priority number one, even before eating. Gallo. Yeah. Oh look, here's a football, soccer field back there. Here in this part of the world, we call it football. Otherwise, it's called soccer. See there? All grass. Pretty. Nice. I like it. There you go down a hill to the rest of the city. What is this? Very nice. I need to chug a guy of beer. I'm really thirsty. Guys, when your wife is a vlogger, and it's your wife, she needs to visit all the clothing stores and get fancy clothing. She got her eye on this one now. Me, I got a couple YouTube shirts, short pants, long pants. That's it. 
Melchor de Mencos, Guatemala. Look at this. Melchor de Mencos has a Domino's pizza. Who would have expected that? Wow. Generators are everywhere here. There's definitely no power in this place. I hope the beer is cold. More generators. They're down here somewhere. So we're looking for a place. They said they sell pupusas and they sell beer. So let's go take a look. This must be the market area here. I'll take a look at the sunglasses, maybe I find something awesome. What are these? Yeah, this is definitely the market area here. But I really need a cool beer. Cerveza Gallo. A ver si lo encontramos. Donde esta? It's crazy the generators here, everybody got generators running. Hey, have any of you been watching this video, been to Melchor de Menkos before? Let me know in the comments. Taqueria, los amigos. Tienda. Who knows where the beer place is? So they say this way, is it this way? Yeah, upstairs. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna go up there. They got cerveza gallo. We're gonna eat. I gotta chug some beer, man. I need some beer. All down there, they got generators going. Let's head up stairs. I would have never found this place if they wouldn't have pointed it to us. That'd be nice, we get a, a seat right overlooking the street. That will be awesome. They do have some music here. They do have a little bit of music. But yeah, this will be great. Look at the view. The market area down below. I'm not sure if it's the market area or if it's uh, just a street with a lot of shopping. I'm not sure. Like they got a Guatemala flag, they got Belize flag. Awesome. Welcome to Guatemala. Here we are. I gotta go this way because of the light. Here we are, we're in the Pupuseria and I needed this really bad. Ice cold Guatemalan beer. Cerveza Gallo. This is the bottle cap, what it looks like. See, there's the bottle cap. Where are you, Maria? Is already drinking. My, my, my brother used to call this Cerveza Pollo. <laughs> when he went to the free zone because he sees a chicken. He thought it's a chicken, so it's a Cerveza Pollo. Yeah, this is Gallo, a rooster. And Gallo means rooster in Spanish. So cheers, guys. Did you finish it? Oh. I went half a bottle, half a bottle. 
I was thirsty for this. A glass and a glass and a beer bottle. Beer and a glass bottle is the best. I were here overlooking everything. Damn, this is nice. I like this. I like this. Except going down the stairs. Going down the stairs. It's very, very tricky. When drunk it's might like be a, tricky. Yeah, yeah. It's like a fire exit uh, thing, you know, that you have. I know, yeah. The stairs are stairs. very tricky stuff. But this is good. I'm going to have a couple of these. I love it in a glass bottle. Have you had a Cerveza Gallo yet? Everywhere we go, we got to taste the beers. Because every country has something different. So we'll see you in a little bit when the food shows up. Guys, I have had three of these beers so far. Three Gallos. They're 5% alcohol. I've had three in less than an hour. I think this is my last one. I haven't eaten yet. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. Uh, then I think this is my last one. It is, let's see what time. Wow, it's 10, 15, 10, 15 a.m. So I think this might be my last one. Maybe not, maybe not. But I gotta eat some food because I, I'm getting a little, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. it feels good in the head. When I say he got enough, he got enough. He won't get another one. <laughs> I don't like to listen. I don't like to listen to orders. I like being my own boss. <laughs> And I like to vlog when I have a little, a little, as they say in Belize, a little tipsy in the head. I like that. Welcome to Guatemala. Uh, here, here come, here come my cerveza, here come my commercial. Cerveza Gallo. Tomalo. Oi! You had to think about it before you said it, that's the shit. Guys, here comes my Gallo commercial. Gallo, por favor, sponsor me. Que soy patrocinador, patrocinador. Que sea patrocinador de Doki Vlogs. Sponsor me. This is my commercial. Cerveza Gallo. Tomalo, yeah. All right, the food is here. I got pupusas. Where you mother? Maria got tacos. You know why? They, you, you, you know why they gave you extra tortilla because they got a lot of meat. So, out of those three tacos, you can make six. Oh wow! Ow, that's hot. <laughs> Look at the cheese on that thing, and they're heavy. These are heavy. This is the stuff you put on top. Cortido, which is cabbage, peppers, eh. uh, carrots. Puedo conseguir una cucharita. Uh, they have a hot sauce here. You got a gallo to kill the pepper. It's, I gotta go this way, cut light. It's gonna be delicious, guys. We are in El Chor de Mencos, Guatemala. I like it. I want, I wanna rent, I wanna rent that apartment up there. I wanna rent that and I wanna live up there. That would be great. Can you imagine living up there? You got this street down here, down below. They say the market is down there. We're gonna go to the market a little bit later. I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this food. When mm, the pepper burns, mm, I'm gonna wash mm. it down with the gallo. The meat is so sour. It's good mm. meat, yeah, on tacos. Taste the meat. Very sour. It is good. Mm. The only thing with me, I try to make a habit of only eating tacos in Mexico because tacos is Mexican. Of course, I'm eating pupusas, which is Salvadorian. So, okay. You don't make sense. Makes no sense. <laughs> but that's what I try. I got tacos. Tacos. She got tacos. I got pupusas. We got cerveza gallo. That's time to dig in. See you in a bit. Look at these pupusas. I ripped this one open. Look at this. Look at that. It's just loaded with cheese. Wow. It is so tasty and so good. Man. 
I think these are the best pupusas I've ever had. <laughs> They're so tasty and so good. Wow. I think these are the best pupusas I've ever had. Mm. I need to go to Salvador and I got to go this way. I need to go to Salvador try them there. But here, so far, Guatemala wins for the pupusas. Maybe these are Salvadorians who live here. Who knows? What I don't know. Cheese, yeah, kind of stringy cheese, kind of like stretchy, stringy. It's good. Let me get back to work on this. My 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 tacos are almost finished. Almost done, yeah. I try Tony ta tacos in Mexico. I try. I yeah. don't always win. Guys, the tacos. I try. I'm not good. Oh, you? They're not good. Yeah, I gotta go to second light. Not good. Not that good. Um, it's like the meat is not fried. It's like oh, boiled, hard, and then uh, deep fried with onions. Almost like a. So taco they have a from couple pieces pepper. of soft meat in there. Yeah, because the first, the first piece, I, because it all depends on how long you leave the meat inside the, 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 the grill. And I think uh, some are less than others are more. So the ones that are less, they're tender. And the ones that are more, most people, when they cook, they think if you put more fire, it's going to be more tender. But it's not light. It just gets tougher. Yeah, the piece you gave me was tender. Yeah, but now you say it's tough. I eat tacos in Belize, Orange Rock tacos, Corazal tacos, those are good. The ones in Corazal, the Cochinita, are made by Don Felipe, pork tacos, they are excellent. And then the chicken tacos in Corazal and Orange Rock, they are also good. Beef tacos, yeah, well, it's always a risk. But pupusa, this pupusa, I give that a thumbs up, it's good. Doug P Vlogs approved. Guys, we just paid. How much was it? Ciento dieciséis. Hundred and sixteen quetzales. And this is we gave a change. You see these here, one quetzal coins, and this is a five quetzal <laughs> note. Let me turn this around so you can see the back end. That's what the five quetzal note looks like. Learning something new every day here in Guatemala, Melchor de Mencos. After you leave here, three beers later, you gotta go down these stairs. I go this way. Got it very narrow. Very narrow on my feet. This is tricky. This is like a like a fire escape. And we're almost down. Oh, yeah. And we're back here on the main drive. So we're at we were at Pupuser, Pupuseria Excelente. But now it's over on the other side of the street. They moved over. So they used to be here before. But their pupusas are so good. They're so excelente. Excelente, it means excellent in Spanish that they moved over to this side here bigger place and they are delicious bye bye those are the girls there from Pupu Seria Excelente they are Excelente de Verdad los mejores pupusas aquí en Melchor de Mencos let's go explore Traffic jam in Melchor. A lot of scooters, a lot of motorcycles. And it's a narrow street. A lot of sunglasses. Look at that one. Ooh. Guys, I got so many sunglasses that I have never worn yet. Doesn't make sense I buy anymore. 
because I've got sunglasses galore. And I mostly use these here, see? They're the most comfortable. They're super clear. That's why I like them. I even wear these at night. And I can see everything bright. These generators here everywhere. One there, store over there has one. Another one over there. It really adds a lot of noise pollution here. But I guess what can you do if there's no electricity? In the city. This place got a lot of hills. I'm getting a workout like you wouldn't believe walking up and down these hills I might have cramps tonight but this is interesting here in Melchor de Mancos. we're gonna see if we can see the market show you guys what the market looks like everywhere they got these generators running it's so noisy so so noisy but this is an awesome place. Hola! Awesome place to be. I'm glad I got here to visit. I am huffing and I'm puffing because of the hills. We were in San Ignacio, but we haven't walked down any hills pretty much yet. We pretty much stayed on the flat. But we're going to be walking some hills before we leave there. But I got even higher hills in San Ignacio Belize but oh, this is cool oye el mercado donde esta por allá y dobla ok gracias so market is there and we got double that side let's go check out the market the local market here in Melchor Guatemalan market have you been to one? let me know ok it's mini la bendición USA got the USA flag let's cross the street here let's go see the market it's hot it's really really hot Pollo fried chicken. They seem to like the fried chicken, see Poyeria Sarita. They seem to like to eat chicken around here. They say this is the market. I guess it's a market street, or do they have a, like a real market that they go into? Maybe it's just a whole street that's the market. Must be. Oye, el mercado. Es aquí, es el mercado. Oh, todo es aquí. Así es como una calle de mercado. Oh, allá pues el jar adentro. Okay, gracias. So the guy says, up ahead, you can actually enter the market building. This is the market street leading up to the market. Interesting. I need a meat shop. Not a meat shop. You know what I need? I need a Pepsi. Let me wave to where are you Maria? Waving to where you are, yeah. Let it know I'm going into the store to get a Pepsi Cola. Oh, they can sell beer here. I need a Pepsi man. Pepsi Zero. I Pepsi see. I Pepsi see the sugar. No, so Coca. Coca see the sugar. Okay. 
No Pepsi, no sugar free Pepsi. What's going on with you, Pepsi? I can never get Pepsi sugar free anywhere. So hard to get. What is? Yes. What is it? No, the the mercado is there. Okay. okay. Did you get an agua chica? Do you want an agua chica? Yes, agua pura, por favor. Where is the water? No lo veo. Nunca piensan en nosotros. ¿Esas aguas? Es agua. Creo. ¿Es agua esa natural? Es agua. ¿Es mineral? No, no, natural quiero, por favor. Agua, agua. Abajo, camarada. This one's. This is a little one here. Sure. Está aquí. Qué calor, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Cuántas? Tres de quetales. Tres de quetales. Sí. No electricity. That's a problem here. Big problem here. Anyway, I got my Coke Zero. They're not ice cold. They're not ice cold because there's no electricity and this store has looks like no generator or maybe it has a generator in the back but that's a problem that's a big problem here you got stuff you got to keep cold you got no electricity and it seems to be a running problem it seems to be a big problem here in Melchor. No electricity. Anyway, Coke is it's cold enough. Could be colder. But it'll do the trick. It won't last that long anyway. Oh look, we were up there. We were up there, we had pupusas. And entrance to the market is right there. Look, we were up there eating. Yeah. The market is right there. We were oh right we next to the market. We walked like four blocks to get to where we are. Let's go in the market. Yes, here is the Melchor, the Mencos Mercado. Yeah. You can get belts. Cheap, cheap. Yes. Everything cheap, cheap. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's dark in here. This is a dark market. Even with my sunglasses off, it's dark. It probably because there's no electricity. That could be the problem. No electricity here. Few people have like solar powered bulbs here a couple of stores have back in here generator running somewhere hey in case we get lost in here we'll meet in front of the pupuseria okay just in case we get lost <laughs> where are you maria says i like taking off Mostly clothes. Yeah, they do have nice stuff. I am 99% sure 
they will not have clothes that fits me. Okay. Pretty sure of that. But then I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Because a lot of people from Belize like shopping here. And they do have very big people in Belize. Some guys, some of them people in Belize are taller than me. And fatter than me. Here we have light. Light and sunlight shining through. It's not as dark as the other parts. I'm always tempted when I see sunglasses. But you know, I've got so many pairs that I have not even ever used, not even once, once in my life, much less on YouTube. So it don't make sense to buy any more. I've got too many. And I found out, I found out on this trip here, this trip is like a month or a little bit over. I brought along one, two, three pairs of sunglasses and it's just too much stuff to carry. You want to travel light. You want to travel free and easy. And the more stuff you have, the more hassle it becomes. And sunglasses, they're fragile, right? They're very fragile and they break. So it's not something you want to carry too many of because we travel with just a backpack for mochileros. We travel light and free. Even even my YouTube shirts, I've got too many of these. I got different colors. Today I'm wearing blue. We come in Guatemala and their flag is blue and white. So that's why I'm wearing blue with the right white letters. Color of the Guatemalan flag. Oh, it's hot in here. Here in the middle, they got water. I'm looking for the produce section. I'm tired of seeing panties and bras. And naked mannequins. Guys, to hell with Coke Zero. I found a place where they say they say they sell ice cold gallos. I think I'm gonna have ice cold gallo. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna relax. Press my feet a little bit. See what they got. Buenas tardes. Kerem. Dos cayos de botella. Sí. I'm gonna surprise where are you, Maria. She's coming right now. I'm gonna surprise her with a gallo. Yeah, let's sit down. Let's relax. Yeah. <laughs> I ordered yours already. I don't miss the clothes. Yeah. I asked them where the fruits and veggies. They said it's that way, but I, I didn't see. I think it's um, it's too late already. Maybe too late. Yeah. yeah. So we got a little bar here. Check it out. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put. Yo voy a poner dos porque yo estoy seguro. Con mis 140 kilos se va a quebrar. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Qué calor, man. Guys, it's time for one of these. Don't go away. We shall be right back. Yeah. Guys, we are here at El Tenapa. We just had a couple of beers, just a couple, because you know we want the one overdo and get drunk. Great place when you come here to Melchor de Mencos, El Tenapa. Tenampa. El Tenampa, la dueña aquí. She take care of you and you always got friendly people hanging out. Say hi dear friends. Hi. Hello. On YouTube. And we're ready to go. 
El Shorty Mancos. El Tenampa. How's the song go, El Tenampa? Sing it. No, 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 no. I can't El Tenampa no. de mis cielos. ¿Cuántas veces me han sacado del Tenampa? All right, there you Como got it. This is where we are, El Tenampa. <laughs> Keep watching. Our journey continues here in Melchor de Mencos, here at Barbershop. Here, there's some major road work going on. Let's see how we can get out of here without falling down. Should we go down there? Yeah, let's take a little walk down there and take a look, see what we can find. Make it over? Of course. Of course, what do you think? Where are you? Maria is tough. <laughs> you are tough. That's why she's a YouTube vlogger. <laughs> she's not gonna fall down in a little ditch like that. She dumps that. Jumps that like a boss. <laughs> so now we're getting. Let's go over on this side. Getting to the outskirts. Lawyer. Laura Chun, the Republic and lawyer. We're getting more to the outskirts here of Melchor de Mencos. My battery's getting very low, so I gotta check every now and then to make sure it doesn't shut off on me. We had a good cerveza gallo. Cerve frío, look. And I'm seeing this Cerve Free. Oh, that's a beer store. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's like a like a six. Yeah, like a six in Mexico. Ah. Like a liquor store in Canada. I don't think you can drink on the street here. The cops are gonna pick you up. Yeah. And yeah. I think the jails are not fun. No jail <laughs> is fun. I don't think. I bet the jails here are not fun at all. Taqueria Frontera. <laughs> Look, you're in Guatemala. You're in Guatemala. You can buy Tecata, you can buy Corona. Here. That guy is throwing his guts Is he throwing up? Yeah. Damn. I don't know if you could pick that up on the camera. But that sounds. That sounds really, really. Bad. He's throwing up and he's like, it's like it's like his his stomach and his intestines are coming out of his throat. But it, it, it sounded like he didn't have anything inside. Yeah, he probably it's it's when you're over drunk, you throw up, but you keep throwing up even though there's nothing left inside. <laughs> Poor guy. I don't want to suffer that. Here we are exploring. Look, if you come here, you could stay at Hotel Central. I wonder what they charge for a night here. Let's go ask. You go out. Okay, I'm gonna go ask. See what they charge for a night. Just so. Buenas tardes. ¿Cuánto cobra para dos personas una noche? Este, habitaciones sencillas o privadas? Um, Tenemos sencillas y privadas. ¿Qué es la diferencia? Um, en las sencillas solo le trae cama. Y ventilador. En las privadas ya le trae su baño, televisión. Oh. Uh -huh. Ok, el privado con baño. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna find out the price of the rooms here. Um, tenemos de 150 y 175. My battery went dead. I don't know how much I recorded this, but anyway, the girl at reception says you can get a room here with a private bathroom with air conditioning for 175 pesos here at Hotel Central in Melchor. Might be a place where you could stay because it's close to the center. Easy walking distance. Hi, how are you? Look at that, that's a nice building going up. Here we're going downhill. Downhill we go. Let's go explore. Melcho. The Mencos. Guatemala. How much is it? So let's head down here and see what we can find. 
we're really getting out we're probably gonna walk around the block there come up on that side I think that there I think that there is the main road according to the compass I have in my head yeah oh right here is actually a nice place to walk because um, it's cool there's a good breeze blowing here there's not a lot of traffic and the breeze oh the breeze is good the breeze is good motorcycle repair shop a lot of people have motorcycles around here you know it's just a cheap way to get around right fuel is expensive in this parts of the world so you have a little motorcycle or scooter look at this house here this house here I can bet you anything this house here is over a hundred years old look how thick the walls are that's a beautiful home you know the roof is new right but that's a beautiful home very old hey you come here you could stay at the Hilton Hotel let me see if I could zoom in Hilton Hotel I'll zoom in for you okay zoom <laughs> you see that we got a Hilton Hotel here in Melchor de Mencos, Guatemala <laughs> cool that is crazy oh wow I'm going over there to the park I see they have buses there let's go see the park and see what's going on next to the Hilton hotel and restaurant Here's a little park here at Melchor. Got a little bandstand up there. It's not much. It's for sale. Oh, there's a house for sale. It would be good to live in front of the park, you know. Happy. Why? I don't think anybody comes to this park. Nice statue. Look at that. Union, fraternity, and fight. Cool. So this is the little park here. There's a house for sale. Look, the yard is huge. Show the park. Let me ask them. Buenas tardes. 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 ¿A cómo venden la casa? Este, pues la verdad me podría decir, jefe, ahí está el número del señorón, el dueño. Oh, el dueño, ese Ajá. es el número. Sí, sí. ¿No tiene menor, más o menos una idea? Pues la verdad no hubiera que han llamado para preguntar, pero si no le podría decir. Ah, oh, sí. Sí, está grande el terreno. Sí, sí, está grande. Sí. ¿Puedo verlo? Este, pase. Ok. Yo vi por el cerco y se ve cómo está. Grande. ¿O así están rentando? Sí, sí, lo, sí nosotros lo estamos rentando. Sí, pase. ¿El perro que muerde dónde está? Ah, por aquí va, por aquí va. <ríe> no creo que me muerde. Es que anda viendo el terreno, que quiere ver cuánto lo ven. Oh. Sí, ese es el terreno, mire jefe, cuadrado. Oh, sí, está grande y con bastante... Se ve como jaguina, se ve como muerde duro. Está bonito. See guys here, look at this beautiful piece of property for sale. Wow, fruit trees. Está bonito. Es que mi esposa dice que quiere comprar una casa aquí en Melchor. No. Un terreno. Very nice. Gracias. Bueno, bueno. Así solo el dueño sabe el precio. Sí, sí, la verdad, ahí solo él con el trecalar. Ahí está el número, le puede llamar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, sí. como le digo, sin ni idea en cómo, cuánto lo venderá. Ya, yeah, no tengo idea. Bueno, gracias por mostrarme. Bueno, bueno, jefe. Gracias. 
Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So the guy don't know how much it's for sale for. He has no idea. But um, he said just call this number here. Call that number and get the owner. And um, to tell you the price, I, I, I can bet you it's cheap. I like it in front of the park. It's kind of cool. Nice. Yeah, it'd be interesting to live here in front of the park. House needs work. I bet it's very economical. I might call, you never know. Just for the fun of it. I personally don't want to own anything anymore in life because I want to be free to move around where we want to go. Travel the world. I don't like being stuck in one place. I'm looking for where are you, Maria? She's complaining about the heat. It's hot, but that's the life of a vlogger. Where are you? I can hear you, but I can't see you. I guess she's somewhere around here. I don't know where. I hope she didn't go on that street. I see her. <laughs> yeah, it's a warm day here in Melchor de Mencos, Guatemala. But that's what we do. We travel to different places, hot, cold, bring videos for you. I, I can take the heat. I sweat. I suffer. No problem. That's just a private house. The generators are going. Look at this. You see that picture there? La Casona, that's a bar. Hey, they got they got rooms, you know? I almost fell. They got they <laughs> you almost fell. I almost you see there they got rooms? I got this picture. A devil girl called La Casona. Too bad they don't look like that. I can bet they're a lot heavier. Yeah, they got rooms so. Open with a tail, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so that definitely, you know, a house of ill repute. Not to say the other word that starts with H and ends with an O. House of what? House of ill repute. Oh yeah. The other word starts with H and ends with an O. It's puta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Wow! <laughs> it's also. Not a place recommended to go because you go to those places, no. you might be with one of the girls yeah. and there's some guy who's in love with them yeah. and he goes in there, sees you with his girl and guns are legal here. No, Every not only that, all the sickness. No, not just sickness, but guns are... Of course are, sickness. No, but listen, guns are legal here. A lot of people pack guns and if the guy sees you with his girl, even though she's working in a place here, he could pull out a gun and shoot you. Not good. So you don't care for sickness? No, it? the sickness, yeah, but you don't want to get shot. Wow. Shot shooting is not. I, I would think fun. that guys would always be scared of going there because of sickness. Not oh the sickness, the sickness, yeah. You don't want to get shot. sickness, but do you want to get shot? So you rather have something and not get shot? I'd rather not go there in the first place. Exactly. Good. You wanna buy a hotel? You wanna buy a hotel? Look at that. <laughs> No, I'm saying you get you get some sickness. You might be able to get medicine for it. You might not, because there are deadly things around or things that don't go away. But the bullet to the head, 
there's only one cure for that and that's a grave and people have been killed people have been killed going to bars like that here in Melchor in this same town so don't do that we're walking back buffet they're really cool this is a judicial buffet buffet who knows yeah it's rain hey how are you guys that's a like legal buffet who knows guys it looks like it might rain right here in front of the car wash it's getting cooler it's getting cooler now yeah because the rain is coming so it's getting cooler it is hot what do you want you want heat or you want snow i don't like rain i hate rain that stuff can go away i'm not a fan of rain let's see how far we get i think this road is going to take us back into downtown not 100 percent sure but we'll find out very soon hey it looks like a big park up there here in Mexico when you have a flat tire the tire repair shops are called Pinchaso so this is mechanic shop and tire repair shop Miyagi Tire y Pinchaso Miyagi so you know when you get a flat tire look for a place that says Pinchaso like right there Pinchaso tire repair shop if you didn't know now you know here in Guatemala Pinchaso tire repair here, it's a city hall that's the flag of Guatemala I think that's the flag of Petén Melchor Mencos Petén city hall Here we are, little park, and that there is the main street, Main Street, Melchor de Mencos. They've got a nice little park here. Oh, nice trees, cozy. And look at that, they have an Electra. Electra and Banco Azteca is a big Mexican chain. And they actually have them over here. Wow. I'm surprised to see that. But this is a beautiful, beautiful park. Muy bonito el parque aquí. Muy bonito. Beautiful park. Look at the benches. The benches are painted. Nice murals. <laughs> oh, somebody stuck that there. Buggles. Look at that. That is awesome. Awesome paintings. And it's cool here with these trees. Absolutely nice. I like that. Here we are in Melchor de Mencos, Guatemala. It's a nice place. The church is over there. The local, probably Catholic church. Come paint a picture here. It's just not nice. Garbage cans. <laughs> Somebody had a good imagination here. Popeye the Sailor Man this is a nice nice park I wonder I think we can go up there I think so that's like a Salvador Dali I think so 
think we can go up here. I think we can get up there. Let's see if we can make it up there. I see here a little walkway. Ah, oh, the breeze is getting cool. Bueno dias. Oh, I see lightning. Hey, hey. I found. I here five years ago. I remember the giraffe. You were here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh man, lightning and thunder. I don't like that. But this is so cool. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Catholic church there. That's the city hall. I walked by there earlier with the flags of Petén and Guatemala. What a neat thing this is. Where are you, Maria? Down there? I'm way up here. It is so cool. The breeze is blowing. A fresco aquí arriba. Muy, muy fresco. Está bonito. Está bonito aquí en Melchor de Mengos. Wow. It's like Iglesia Católica. Catholic Church over there. This is awesome. Wow. Me gusta el viento aquí. Ah, vienen a chalear aquí arriba. <laughs> Look at this, guys. This is where you come and drink your beer tarde en la noche. No llega la policía a molestarles aquí. Hasta las 11 llega. Hasta las qué? Hasta las 11 vienen a. Oh, a las 11. A las 11 dicen que ya no tomen. Wow. Manda saludos a tus amigos. Ah, está Aquí de Melchor de Mencos. Melchor de Mencos que tengo. All right. Que manda saludos a tus amigos. All right. So you come up here and drink, he said the police, hasta las 11 llega la policía. Hasta las 11, yeah. 11 de la noche. De la 11. You can come up here and drink your beers. Pura gallo. Pura gallo, si. Sí. Until 11 o'clock. Bueno, nos vemos. Bueno. 11 o'clock at night, the police come check up here. See if guys are drinking. So you know, when you want to come up here drinking, you get up here before 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> that is funny. That is so funny. Guys, it's starting to drizzle. Drizzling is not good. Drizzling will hamper this YouTube journey. But I like this park. I like this park. It is cool. It is so fresh. It's beautiful. They did a good job here. Here in Melchor. The Mencos, Guatemala. So we're gonna head back onto the main street and see what there is to see. We went to a place back there called La Cabana. It's a restaurant and a hotel, restaurant bar hotel. We could see from upstairs the patio from the little veranda of the restaurant. They got an amazing pool. We had, we ordered two beers. We waited, but an hour for the rain to quit the waitress never came back and took our order so we paid the beers and we left so it looks like a nice place but the service sucks that cool statue here and we are heading back into downtown Melchor de Mencos that's the park where I was up on the roof and we're heading back here Looks like there's major work going on. Lots of fried chicken around here. I, let's go a little more down. We see there's more more chicken places down the same thing. I'm not really starving. Are you starving? I'm kind of hungry. Getting hungry? I, I was thinking of pollo landia because it sounds almost like the pollo campero. Almost like pollo campero. Yeah, I think the, I think I saw another one further down there. Here they're doing some major road work. The street lights are working, but the power seems to be off. 
so who knows what to do maybe the power is back on and the people the people just leave the generator running because you know they're just so used to the power going on and off that they just don't shut off that damn generator anymore there's a lot of drug stores in this town every block has one or two drug stores who knows why see there's a drug store here Then there's a drugstore there, there's a drugstore there. A lot of them. Guys, so here we are in Melchor de Bancos, Guatemala. You could see Benke from there, see? Back there? Yeah, you see back Benke. there? That's Benke Viejo back there? Yeah. Way on the top of the hill. I don't know if you guys can notice it with the camera. It's wow. Mm. Cool. It's a pretty city. So up ahead, you go left city center, you go straight to Belize. You want to buy land in Guatemala? Aquí está de venta. Terreno. So we're cruising in the taxi. Allá abajo, no crees que hay? Creo que hay uno allá abajo. Yeah, yo vi que venden gallo y eso allá. So guys, we're looking for a place where we can get like giant shrimp. And they sell some giant shrimp around here. We're near the border. We got a taxi. Come on, come on, Marvin. Come Marvin. 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 This is Marvin. He's driving us around. Oh yeah, he regrets that seat, We're here near the border. There's an army here, guys, so I'm gonna put away my camera. Okay, we stopped here. Marvin, say hi to your family. Hi. Hi, everyone. 20 quetzal. 
Marvin, taxi driver from Melchor de Mencos. He went to high school in mm. Benke, Montarmel High School. You guys know yes. Marvin from Benke? Give him a little shout out. You'll see the video. This is Benke. We're going to look. Te voy a dar una tarjeta mío. Okay, okay. We're looking for a thing called Piguas here. Aquí está. Gracias. Yo tengo varios amigos que hacen esto. Sí. Que llegan ahí y compran sin carne en el negocio. Ah, sí. Ah, sí. Ese estábamos viendo nosotros para tener internet todo el tiempo. All right, sí, man. Nos vemos. Gracias. Hasta luego. We're looking for a type of shrimp that's called Piguas here. It's very big. You know, Maria? Oye. Um, hay, hay un lugar hasta allá del otro lado del puente también. Vamos a ver si no hay aquí. We are right at the border. This is, this is what they call no man's land. No man's land. This is in between Guatemala and Mexico. But actually here you do cross the Guatemalan border. But it's kind of a no man's land. No rules, no laws. Vende uh, We're no. looking. ¿Qué comida tiene? Piguas is a big shrimp. They're like big like that. They're like, I think it's called crawfish in English. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we're going to see. I think we're going to have a hard time finding it. Belize is right back there. Hey guys, greetings from Melchor de Mancos, Guatemala. Things looking bad. Hilton Ay, ya vine hasta de allá. En Hilton Ay, no fuimos. Ah, en Hilton. Ah, Hilton. Uh, we were in front of the Hilton. ¿Será que podemos conseguir más acá arriba? Vamos a caminar para allá. Vamos a ver. ¿Preguntaste aquí? Ya fuimos a la cabaña. ¿Preguntaste aquí? Sí, solo tienen el chaumín. ¿Chaumín? Hoy sí. Es que aquí en Petén el chaumín es muy, muy famoso. Wow. Hacen chaumín. Really? According to where you, Maria, chow mein. I know. Yeah, chow mein is, yeah, it's according to you, chow mein is famous food here. People love chow mein. Yeah, wow. So they make, they make here. <laughs> well, come to Guatemala, guys, eat some chow mein. I think we better stand here. They have another guy who plays way over there. I saw that when you walked in. If not, let's drink some beers here. But let's go over there first. And there they got loud music. La Katrina bar. They're gonna run my ass over. They're gonna run me over. I have a bad habit of walking in the middle of the street. So we crossed here earlier when we entered Guatemala. We got as far as the border with taxi and we came out. Now we're walking back into Melchor de Mencos here. This back here is the no man's land. Right there, his friends, his friends are there, see? You can leave your empty bottle with his friends. See down there, people are doing laundry. Wow, look at that river. Let me see if I can zoom in with my Pixel 6 Pro, how people are doing laundry there, and I'll upload it to my Facebook at Doug B Vlogs. Check it out there. Is my Audi on? Yes, it is. Let's see, is it on? One, two. Yeah, my Audi is on. We are looking for a place that says Piguas, which is what they call the big shrimp here. But um, we're not having a lot of luck. We were all the way at the border. Now we're walking back into Melchor. It looks bad. It looks really bad. I just about broke the sign. I kicked the side. We're back here. Bienvenidos to Melchor de Menko sign. I 
I don't think we're gonna get the big shrimp here anymore. I think it was just luck the last time we got it. Maybe here, maybe here. Ask him here. We're gonna ask here. In Belize, you don't say ask if they have it, you say ask them. Ask them if they have big shrimp. Yeah, it looks bad. Where can we get piguas here in Melchor de Mencos? Donde podemos conseguir piguas aquí en Melchor de Mencos? Fuimos al restaurante Puerto Barrios, no tiene? Looks like we can't get any. We can't get any. It's a bus, no piguas. No hay. So, we're gonna head back into Belize. We're gonna stop somewhere along here. Have a couple more beers. And call it a day. I think this video is pretty long already. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me comments. Give it a like. Share it with your friends. Comparte con tus amigos. Dale un like. Y... Ask the taxi guy here. Ask him. If he says Puerto Barrios, they won't have. We really want to try the pig with shrimp. So... We're not giving up yet, but if we do not find anything, we're gonna go drink a beer up there, head back into Belize, back to San Ignacio, edit this video. What he says? Hilton. Hilton? Well, let's go to Hilton. He's gonna take us, he's just leaving them here. Oh, all right, so we're going back to the Hilton. You saw the Hilton early in the video? Check it out, we're going back there. Hilton, Puerto Barrios. I mean, Hilton, Hilton, Melchor de Mencos. That's where we're going. Gotta take a cab there. That's a long walk. Want to buy the whole shop? <laughs> so let's go. I'm gonna take a taxi. It's gonna be our last try. What the heck? No, pasamos, pero no fuimos. So guys, we got a cab here. I'm gonna go back to the Hilton Melchor de Mencos, the one and only. And let's see if we get some piguas. No, no hay en cabaña. You know I. Here we are at downtown Port Melchor de Mencos. And now we're in a taxi. Now we're in a taxi. So you'll be able to see it twice, because twice is twice as nice. That goes a little faster when you're driving in a cab. Hilton Hotel, Melchor de Mencos. It's not the same, it's not the same thing what you're thinking. If you watch a video, you'll see it. But they say they're to the sell them, so let's go. Let's go try it out. Like I said, lots of drug stores here. No, no hemos ido. Vamos al más cercana. Ella puede entrar a preguntar si hay, si no, vamos a Hilton. So we're gonna go to Estrella 
And if Estrella doesn't have, then we're gonna go to Hilton. So I'll stay in the car where you Marie is gonna run in and ask if they have. They don't have, keep going to Hilton. This here on the left or right in front of the camera. That's where we were earlier. Service really sucked bad. Looks pretty. The service is no good. are enjoying this video here from Melchor de Mencos, Guatemala. It's a nice place. It's a nice place. It's really hot and there's no electricity in the city. Aquí siempre se va la, la siempre. electricidad. Siempre. Ahorita ya vino. Ya vino. Yeah. Wow, yo vi que todos tienen ah, generadores. Todos, eh, wow. Mucho molestan. Ese de la casuna es un prostíbulo, ¿eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Ajá. No, eso lo vi desde lejos caminando, vi los cuartos y todo. Yeah. yeah. The guy says the power goes off all the time here. It's a big, big problem. <laughs> See, we're walking out here. Yeah, we're walking along here because we walked past the Hilton Hotel. But we didn't think about going there because you know the Hilton, right? Of course, this is Hilton. Well, sure. This is it. Here. Es aquí. Ajá, aquí. Okay, Ana, a preguntar. Y si no, vamos a Estrella a ver si hay en Estrella. Ahí está. Aquí. So, okay. where you, Marie, is going to go into the Hilton Hotel. Hilton. Melchor de Mencos. And see if they have... ¿Cómo? ¿Qué es la población aquí de Melchor? Eh, bonito. Está grande, está grande. ¿Cuánto es? ¿Como 100 mil? Sí. ¿50 mil? Ajá. Hay más. I must get 100 mil. He said there's more than 100,000 people living here. It's big. Si está grande. Y yo no he venido aquí en muchos años. Oye, ¿cómo lo arreglan? Quedó bonito. Quedó bonito, quedó moderno. Un alcalde que estuvo lo arregló. Esto no han hecho nada todavía. Yeah. He said they had a very good mayor. And he did a very good job fixing this place up. It is nice. So this is it here, guys, the Hilton. I don't know what you can see because I'm in the taxi. This is the restaurant down here. The hotel might be up there. I don't know if you can see it. See the paved road ends back there and turns into dirt. See this house here in front is a very old house. Esos son las casas antiguas, ¿no? Antiguas. Yeah. Yeah, con la pared grueso. See the walls, how thick they are, and they're pretty much you could say rock. And they're plastered. Okay. Okay, so we're not gonna get pigos because the season is closed, but they got jumbo shrimp, so we're gonna stay here. What the heck, have a good meal. And then head back to Belize. Here's my nice saluda to familia. And YouTube was here. No. Mándale salud a tu esposa, tu amiga, tu novia, tus hijos. Tu esposo. Esposas. Cualquier cosa. Mi español está muy mal. Él entiende, mi español está muy mal. Sí. Tu abuelita, tu mamá, tu papá. Ok, ya no. Ok. He's camera shocked. Tiene pena. Tiene pena, tiene pena. ¿Cómo te llamas? Ronnie. 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 Good taxi guy here. If you see you, Ronnie. Tell him you saw him on YouTube. He will take you around, take good care of you. There goes Ronnie, our taxi driver. Yeah, I know, there's music. Ronnie, our taxi driver. Bye bye, Ronnie. Gracias para todo. So we're going in here. The music is loud, so 
I don't know when I'll see you again. Stay tuned. I'm not leaving yet. Guys, we did it. We broke the bank. We're at the Hilton restaurant here in Melchor de Mencos. This is the Hilton restaurant. Check it out. Top notch, high class Hilton. We're gonna have shrimp, garlic shrimp at the number one place at the Hilton. I usually can't afford to go Hilton, but I'm at the Hilton now. Here we are, Hilton, Melchor de Mencos, Guatemala. Check it out on YouTube. Okay, we on. are at the Hilton I here in Melchor this. de Mencos. They brought us beans, cheese. The beans, the beans looks like a turd. I'm sorry. Hey, and I'm the tortillas, gonna... look, they're hard. Hard tortillas. Like in the, in the Kumal. Yeah. I can survive hard tortillas, but eating a beans that look like turd, I don't I know. I want to taste this. And these are the tortillas. Wow. We are back. Back, back, back. We were all the way at the border. Now we're back at the Hilton Hotel and Restaurant. Mm -hmm. We had a good shrimp meal. Yep. We look spent. This is all nice pumpkin. Look at that. I know, it's pretty. It's pumpkin. Look, yeah. look at the flower here. Pumpkin where flowers? Pumpkin Where's the flower? I don't even see the flower. There, up there. Oh yeah. It's a pumpkin. We had a great shrimp meal, but guess what? We spent every single quetzal, which is Guatemala money, that we had. So, there's no taxi back to the border. See, we have to hoof it, hoof it back to the border. It's about a half an hour walk there. Now we turn that way. We gotta walk back, walk over the border. When you get over the border, we can change some money. We got US dollars. Yeah, we got US dollars. Change some US dollars back into pesos. But they don't take US dollars here. No, here they don't take US dollars. This is Guatemala. Oh, that water looks bad. I want to smell like soap. soap. So we went down there earlier. Now we're going with this here. This here is the main drag, main road. So we gotta walk back to the border. It's maybe, I don't know, half an hour. Let me check the time. It is five minutes past three. Walk over it back into Belize and then catch a taxi to San Ignacio which costs four dollars us or eight dollars belize per person we are in guatemala beautiful country it's nice it is nice it is a different world completely different world let me tell you we're in the city of melchor de mencos Good thing we got belly full. Now we got a good hike back to the border. So stay tuned. Guys, we're totally out of Quetzales. Oh, look at the road. We're totally out of Quetzales. We still have Belize and US money, but no more Quetzales. Looks like there's some big road work going on here. Cerri Frio. Yeah. I'm walking on this side, you know why? Road is blocked off, so I know I can walk in the middle of the road. And I'm not gonna get run over. Let's go. Several hours later, the generators are still running. That means still no power. I was thinking maybe this would be a good place to like buy or rent a house as a relaxed spot, a place to hang out. We're not vlogging, but no. They say there's a lot of electricity problems here. If the electricity gives so much problems, can you imagine the internet? 
Ah, uh, sorry, can't live here. Working on the ditch here. Getting the edges, getting edges here smooth to finish off the job. Here, Melchor de Menko, Guatemala. This is my very first video in Guatemala. I've been to Guatemala before. I've been to many, many countries, but I didn't vlog back then. So those don't count. So anywhere I go is new. I don't count. But I don't have a, a vlog, I don't have proof. I can't say I've been here, I've been there, I've been here, I've been there, I've been this, I've been that. If I don't have proof here on YouTube, it's like I didn't go. I can tell you I've been to Timbuktu and Antarctica and that. If I don't have proof, it's like I didn't go. Don't believe the people who say they've been everywhere, but they got no proof. Another photograph. Because photograph, photograph you can Photoshop. I can photo my shop, Photoshop myself anywhere in the world. But I haven't been there. So don't get fooled by cheap imitators just believe the real thing what you can see by yourself and here we are Melchor de Mencos Guatemala yes we gotta walk way to the border way down there it's a long ways I don't know how far maybe half an hour I don't think it's more than half an hour so we walked all the way up here on this road as you'll see in this, as you saw already if you're watching this since the beginning so now we gotta walk all the way back to the border because we ran out of Quetzales so we can't get a taxi we have to walk Awesome artwork. That sign I just videoed, that's interesting because it's really close to my name. It's spelled different, but it's very, very close to my surname. So I'm, I'm gonna have to Google it and see because there are many, many, Germans here in Guatemala so it's a possibility that somebody who might be related to me is got that name I don't know I'm gonna google it and see because it's so similar to my name to my last name so it's a possibility some German came here over the years long time ago but across yeah. it's a possibility some German came here long time ago you know and they mix with the locals hola 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 mucho gusto they mix with the local population mm. with the local Indians that live here in Guatemala and the name well it changed right so that's a possibility huge possibility I'm gonna look it up and find out hola manda saludos en youtube para tus amigos, tu familia, tus papás diga hola saludos para no sé quién, quién Yvette, este es mi canal. Gracias. Yeah. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Yvette. 
Silueta de Sandra ah, Juárez okay. Ajá. ¿Es tu papá? Marvin. Ah, ok. Vas a salir en, en mi video de YouTube. Ok. Ok. Bye. 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 She wanted to say hi. So I stopped. I gave her a chance to be on camera. They're really shy. She was really shy, but hey, she's gonna be on YouTube. Hola. Here we are, guys. Melchor de Mencos. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien. Bien, bien. Trabajando duro. ¿Cómo va el negocio? Todo bien. ¿Todo bien? ¿Cómo te llamas? Adrián, Adrián. Adrián. Me gusta Melchor, está bonito aquí. Sí, está bonito, sí. ¿Qué mandar saludos para tus familiares, amigos? Ah, sí, no, ahorita no. Ahorita no. No, no tienes amigos ni familia ni nada. Te voy a dejar una tarjeta para que puedas ver el video cuando sale en mi canal. Ok, nos vemos. People are shy. He says, I don't. I don't have no relatives, he says. <laughs> That's so funny. But he wanted to be on camera because he was waving from far away. He was waving at me. Oh, yo, Branjero, Branjero. Farmacia Moderna. There's a lot of drugstores. A lot of drugstores in this town. I think. If we'd walk around in this town for a few days, everybody would know us. I think everybody would. Guys, I've been walking 20 minutes so far through downtown Melchor de Mencos here in Guatemala. We're not at the border yet, but we're going downhill now, so I know we're getting close. Getting much, much closer. Then we're going to get a taxi. Gotta walk into Belize over the border, get a taxi back to San Ignacio. We're we're staying for a few more days. Tomorrow, check out tomorrow's video. We got a good video coming up tomorrow. We haven't filmed it yet, but we know where. My camera is overheating, so I don't know if I said this before. Tomorrow, come back tomorrow. We didn't film it yet, but we have a plan where we're going tomorrow. A new place it'll be interesting what we do tomorrow it's a place we've never been before let's see what happens check out the video coming up let me cross guys my camera keeps shutting down we're getting very near the border I walked 20 minutes so it's not too bad 20 minutes the border is right back there let me cross here. Start get run over. And we're heading towards Belize. Yeah, like I said, tomorrow we got a video coming up. It's going to be really interesting. We're going to a new place that we have never ever been before. And it's gonna be something something very different. Something very different. I hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to leave comments we're here at the they have a little police booth they have entering Melchor and we are near the border Hola, hola, ¿cómo están? Saludos para tu familia Gracias, gracias Nice people here Nice, nice people. Yeah, so tomorrow video will be awesome. Yeah. We're getting now to the bridge that separates Belize from Guatemala. Or actually I could say Guatemala from Belize. Okay, we're on the Guatemalan side. Here it is. 
the Mopan River yeah guys I walk now 25 minutes 25 minutes high speed I need to stop to stop to talk to little people here the river is calm over on that side there are rapids but it's beautiful look at that wow so now you could say we are walking into Belize well guys I can't film in the Guatemalan or Belize immigration so I'd like to say from here thank you for watching from Mel Chordimancos Guatemala thanks for watching please come I'm blowing back I've been walking fast please comment give a like and if you haven't please subscribe Adios amigos. Hasta el próximo video. Bye bye. Tourist bus. World class. Probably going to Flores. One of these places. Here's a Belize tourist bus. Look at Belize Go air conditioned bus. There's nobody in there. Oh, they're probably waiting. They're probably waiting for the tourists coming through the border. This is no man's land. That's what they call this here. No man's land. They got a got a Guatemala army over there keeping track. I hope they don't know us. I'm putting the camera on them. Because they won't like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go reverse. Here I am guys. I gotta turn off the camera because I am at the Guatemalan border. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. We are back in Belize. Welcome back to Belize. I hope you enjoyed this video to Guatemala. Way over there, over this building. Melchor de Mencos, Guatemala. It was interesting. We enjoyed it. Yeah, de una vez. Si te da un buen rate. We enjoyed it. We drank some gallo beer. We ate some shrimp. We ate some pupusas. The city of Melchor de Mencos is, they've done a great job since the last time I've been there. They've really improved it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna get a taxi. One of these taxis back to San Ignacio. They charge $8 Belize per person, which is exceptionally reasonable. Go into a hotel, go take a shower, drink a Coke Zero. You know me, I need my Coke Zero. And edit some video and go to bed. Now I am 100% bye bye. But guess what? No, 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 no. Guys. I'm back. We found a taxi. He said he's gonna charge us 15 bucks per person to go to San Ignacio. We said no, 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 no. It's eight bucks max. So we got a taxi here. He's charging us eight per person. Whoa! Fancy car. Look at that. He charges us eight plus. He's taking other people, right? So he has a full truck, and it's here. Air conditioned. Yay! Yeah. Your car nice. I will get twisted. I will get twisted from the nice ride. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna get twisted. This ride is too nice. Cool, cool AC. Good tunes. And a nice taxi driver. Good afternoon. And we got full house. What's your name? Louis. Louis. Look for Louis when you come here to the border. You want to go back to San Ignacio? He fills up the car with people. How many in the back? Three? Three of them. Three in the back. Him and the one passenger in the front. Eight dollars per person. Takes you all the way to San Ignacio. It was a fun trip to Melchor de Mencos. So now I am 100% gone, I hope. I might not be back. I think I'm gone now. Bye bye.